Greetings, Planeswalkers. Gamesman here. Got a new deck this evening. Uh, this is a fun deck, a very simple deck. Uh, it's got a concept that revolves around rolling dice. Uh, so um, this is a pretty quick deck, and if it works right, it's it's uh, overwhelming and uh, usually just causes your opponent to concede. So we'll go through it. Again, it's pretty simple as you can see. Uh, we start with the one red cost Barbarian class. If you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice, plus one and ignore the lowest. For one colorless, one red, uh, we get a target creature. Gets plus two, plus zero, and gains menace until the end of turn. And then for another three mana, two colorless, one red creatures you control have haste. From there, we basically just have cards that deal with rolling dice. So uh, Pixie Guide is a, is a pretty um, important card for the deck because if you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest roll. So now we're, we're working towards upping those rolls uh, and uh, you'll see why soon. Brazen Dwarf. Whenever you roll one or more dice, Brazen Dwarf deals one damage to each opponent. So you can kind of see what's coming. Feywild Trickster. There's not a lot of creatures in this deck, so we want some tokens to come out, maybe take some of the heat off of any size creatures, really, as long as they don't have Trample. We're going to just basically create blockers. Whenever you roll one or more dice, create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy dragon creature with uh, token with flying. Uh, so now we get into... Uh, some of the utility cards, Power of Persuasion for two colorless, one blue. Uh, we've got Choose Target Creature and Opponent Controls, then roll D20. 1 through 9, return it to his owner's hand. 10 through 19, owner puts it on top or bottom of their library. And 20, gain control of it until the end of your next turn. So between the Barbarian class, uh, we're rolling more dice. And the Pixie Guide, we're ignoring the low roll of those dice and pinging them for damage whenever we roll dice. And creating fairy dragon creature tokens while rolling dice. Oh, did I, I skip? I skipped treasure chest. Sorry. So three, three colorless. Uh, we can sacrifice treasure chest. Roll a d20. One, we're trapped. We lose three life. Two to nine, we create five treasure tokens. Very handy. Ten through nineteen, gain three life and draw three cards. Even handier. And then twenty, search your library for a card. If it's an artifact card, you may put it into the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card into your hand and shuffle. Okay. So back to um, kind of the, the, the theme of the deck. Uh, we have Contact Other Plane. Again, we're rolling dice. Uh, we draw two cards. We scry, scry two, then draw two cards. Or we scry three, then draw three cards. And then here's, here's the, the, the big one. And, and I'm sure you, if you've seen any of these types of decks, and I've seen a few here and there. They're, they're a little less popular than they used to be but they can still be effective. Uh, the legendary creature Elf Shaman, Delina, Wild Mage, uh, whenever Delina attacks, choose a target creature you control. You would pick Delina in most cases. Roll a d20. 1 through 14, we create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that creature, so uh, Delina, except it's not legendary, and it has exile this creature at the end of combat. If we get between 15 and 20, we create one of those tokens, and we roll again. So between the Barbarian class rolling extra dice, the Pixie Guide ignoring the lowest roll, uh, we should be, be able to get a fair number of copies with Delina, and consequently, we're rolling uh, or we're attacking with a lot of creatures. Now, uh, if we've set this up properly, we've also gotten our Barbarian class very inexpensively to level 2. So now we're adding plus 2 to multiple creatures, because whenever we roll dice, we get plus two, and they gain menace. So now we've got however many Delinas that we're adding plus two to, so now we're hitting with for five, and menace, so now basically half the blockers work. Uh, so you can see uh, between this, the Brazen Dwarf, and the Feywild Trickster, where we're, we're basically generating tokens, which we can also apply the plus two, plus zero two, and they get menace. We're so our 1-1 our one, one creatures are now 3-1 creatures with menace uh, for uh, a very inexpensive cost. Uh, we've got 
quite the assault going on here. So now, deck of many things. This is just something to, to get us to roll more dice. Uh, for only two in tapping this, we can roll a d20 and we subtract the number of cards in our hand. We always want uh, a low number, ideally, uh, because if the number result is zero or less, we discard our hand. So we, we either return a card at random from your graveyard to your hand, or we draw two cards, or we put creature card from any graveyard, any graveyard, onto the battlefield under our control. When that creature dies, its owner loses the game. Then we have, uh, this This is a pretty awesome card once it comes out, if you've got the mana to spend on it. But, but once it's working and you've got enough mana, we exile instant or sorcery card from a graveyard, a graveyard, roll a d20, activate only as a sorcery. So on our turn, we can 1 through 9 copy that card and cast that copy. 10 through 19, copy that card. You may cast that copy by paying one colorless rather than paying its mana cost. Or 20, we copy each card, exile with wizard spellbook. You may cast any number of the copies without paying their mana cost. So again, that mechanic of rolling lots of dice and ignoring the lowest roll, we're bumping up the possibility of getting a higher roll. And then, of course, we just have a bunch of lands here, one of which does a little damage if we need to and uh, allows us to scry. So uh, it's, a, it's a quick deck. It's a, it's a pretty uh, easy and straightforward deck. Um, if your opponent doesn't have a lot of creature destruction uh, cards, uh, you can surprise them pretty quickly with this deck. And it's, it's fun to play. I mean, when you get this mechanic going and you start rolling crap tons of dice and they're just rolling all over the, the, the battlefield. It, that's pretty cool. And then when you start seeing some of these big rolls come in and whether we are using this or this or this and we have a Brazen Dwarf out, we're, we're, getting, we're hitting our opponent for damage. We are uh, creating Fairy Dragon creature tokens, etc. So, um, tell me what you think. I remember the first time I saw this deck it was my opponent's deck, and I said to myself, what the hell just happened? Uh, and I had to go back and look at it and said, ah, I see. So I, this is kind of my version. I think my version's a little bit pared down compared to that uh, player's version. But I like it because it's fast, and uh, you can get a large number of creatures out and attacking all at once. So I hope you like it. Please hit the subscribe button, smash that notification button, like and comment. I'd appreciate it. And uh, this is the Gamesman saying good luck with this deck. Uh, leave a comment for suggestions, and uh, we'll see you next time.